Alright, so we're on a rescue mission. We're going to go mes rescue a stranded astronaut, and in the process we're going to test a couple of things. We're going to test and make sure that our uh, our stack decoupler works while it's on the ground, and we're going to do a couple of other things, like uh, test and see whether this works while we're flying through midair. So, um, we have to get Dirk and Kerman aboard a vessel and get him home. So, uh, we're going to do exactly that. We're going to tag him. He's really at an awkward position for us to launch and catch. That's fine, though. And then we will launch. What's, what height was he at? It was at 113. 103. Okay. So, it's a fairly low orbit. Let's go. Um, this is a recoverable stage because it turns out that these things are really extremely expensive. Um, and I need to get my recoverable stage protocol down pat. And uh, the big cost here is the engine, so I built these struts to try and protect the engine from harm. But I'm not actually sure that I have enough fuel to get to orbit. Uh, I have never tested this sort of arrangement before. So I'm just kind of guessing these cheap-ass solid rocket boosters should do fine. I need to... Oh, I'm not going to be able to test the radial decoupler. I'm going to be just moving way too fast. Whoa! That was um, actually not what I had in mind. I totally did not intend to do that, but whatever. Uh, so I actually need to be slowing way, way down in order to get it. So let's go ahead and try that. Let's go ahead and try this mythical slow-as-balls uh, ascent here. Can we get it down to 230? I don't think it's possible. Oh, damn. There. Did I do it? Did it! I did it! I did it! Alright, let's get into orbit now. <laughs> if I still can. That might be quite hard now, actually. I've always... I've never realized just how slow Kerbal expects your launches to be. My launches are never that slow. Um... We still have some fuel left, which is fine. We don't actually need to achieve orbit with this um, upper stage, but we will use up all the fuel, and, uh, and it would be difficult to achieve orbit from this position with our final stage, so we will attempt to get a little bit more into the sky. Um, we're going to have to have a larger orbit than our target, uh, just because we're so far behind him. We're not, there's no way we're going to catch up without dipping into the atmosphere. So what we're going to do is we're going to burn early, and we're going to raise both sides of our orbit um, so that they're both above zero. But we do need to make sure that we don't actually achieve orbit, because uh, we want this thing to actually be recaptured. Oh, good. See? Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Now the only problem is that it looks like I was stupid and didn't add in any method of... Um, controlling these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate the parachutes first. And then I'm going to blast it apart. And then I'm going to switch to it. And we're going to just watch it tumble. Um, it should tumble... Oh, that's not going to work. I need to actually achieve orbit in this. <laughs> that would have been bad. We would have both just impacted on the ground at the same time. So we're going to go ahead and push ourselves into a low orbit on that side. As long as we're not in the atmosphere, it's fine. So that's fine. Sensors, uh, I don't actually know how much of a hurry there is on that 
Declan Rescue. But we will adjust our... Okay, so I do have to switch via map now. We will adjust our orbit as required. First, however, this thing's got to land. We no longer have any control over it, and I hope that we can put down the gears. Nope. Not enough control to even put down the gears. I should have done that first. This is kind of tense. I mean, this is like uh, $15,000 of, uh, of recoverable crap um, tumbling in the upper atmosphere. <laughs> this adds, th this new 0.24 adds so much playability to Kerbal. This is so much fun to just try and figure out the new best ways to do things. Looks like we're going to land on some nice, nice flat grassland, which will serve our purposes n nice and nice and well. Unfortunately, we are literally as far away from Kerbin as possible, Kerbin Command as possible, which means we may not get any actual reward. I don't know what the scale is in terms of penalizing you for being far away from home, um, but I sure hope it's at least 50% because this was a very expensive upper stage. It looks like we'll be fine. The legs do extend down below the engine, even when they're not fully extended. So we shouldn't have any damage to the uh, to the stage. It should just nice and lightly land, and then we can recover it. Yep, perfect. Consider yourself recovered. So what is the percentage that we regain here? <laughs> Only three six thousand. That's twenty percent. Oh, damn, that's not very much. So that wasn't even worth recovering. Um, the amount I added to it to recover it was far more than thirty eight hundred dollars of funds. Well, lesson learned. Alright, so we have a couple of intercepts here, and it looks like they are drifting backwards at a nice rate, so we're just going to let it spin by. Tink? Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. And then, okay, so it looks like that's going to work. That's fine. And now, once we pass this orange, what we'll do is we'll bring our orbit under control. Well, at this, at this periapsis, we will drag our orbit down to a proper height so that we are uh, able to intercept him on the next run around. Uh, this, uh, I actually don't know what the timer is. I know that there was a time limit, but I think it was three days, so I'm not too worried about that. All right, so let's bring our orbit down so that our purple intercept is nice and close. It's a good thing he's on an exactly uh, uh, non-inclined zero-degree orbit. That makes things a lot easier. Um, I don't know how he managed that, but hey, whatever. Okay, so now we are actually increasing in distance again. And that's because we are not on a proper orbit. We need to actually go north. Um, that's this way. I guess we'll wait until we actually get to the descending node. That is pretty close. I think we can I think we can deal with this. 
Declan, we're going to save you. I hope you join our uh, our scientific research system. Uh, we, we need another astronaut, a fourth astronaut. And Declan, you more than qualify. You've got the second most amount of time. Actually, you might have the most time in space because we haven't spent a whole lot of time. We did a moonshot, so it's either you or this guy that has the most time in space. Now, I think that Declan is literally just floating in space, like in his space suit, because there's a little icon of a Kerbal there, um, which I've never seen before. So, we may actually be, like, rescuing a dude, uh, but what we need to do is make sure that we don't blow past him. I'm going to do a quick save here, just for safety's sake. And we are moving much too fast, so we're going to try and equalize our speeds here. We blew past him. That's okay, we've got enough fuel to turn this around. Alright, stop. We actually want to progress in this direction. Oh. Now this way. Stop. Alright. And now we wait. This way. This way. Okay, stop. Now it's time to do this uh, nice and carefully. We may actually, by nice and carefully, I mean we may actually just be able to do it by switching to Durkin and having him come over. But I'd like to get a little bit closer first and decelerate from my 16.3 meters per second of speed. Oh, fuck. There's no room for him. Um, where am I going to put him? I didn't even think of that. <laughs> you know what the solution is, right? Thanks, Jeb. See you later. If I can get in. Well, by the time we've rescued Jeb, I think that Jeb will definitely have the most time spent in space. Once again, the camera is being very finicky and awful. Um, let's try it like this. There we are. If you have problems grabbing onto those, it's because the camera is disobeying you. Uh, so we can't return to the planet until we get a little bit of science. Do we have any science that we can gather here? Um, there must be some kind of science we can gather. Um, hmm. Mountains, desert, something, anything. There, good. Get back in. Time to decelerate. See you later, Jeb. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Oh, wait. Let's try and land near the Space Center.
Oh, we overshot. Darn it. Not by a whole lot. Durkin? Was your name always Durkin? I thought for sure I said it was something else. Hmm, well, whatever. There's only uh, two guys in space, and you're not Jebediah, so you must be the other guy. Our next mission, we may try and rescue Jebediah, and I think we might try and do that with a space plane. That would be pretty cool. That might be fun. Although I'm not entirely sure how we would fit two people on a space plane. Hmm, an interesting challenge to be sure. And mission accomplished. How much uh, of that? How much of those parts did we recover? Ninety-five percent for a six-nine. <laughs> we recovered more from the lander than from the main lift stage, even though the prices were so different. Well, that's okay. Um, everything worked fine. We got plenty of cash, two hundred thousand dollars, so we can afford to play around while we rescue our friend Jeb.